Good evening, everyone. I'm Jenny Oates, and I am coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, and it looks like we still have people logging in literally from all over the country, so that's exciting. And I feel like each one of you that are on tonight, myself included, deserves some type of award because if your house was anything like my house, just five minutes before getting on, <laughs> it is like going through the gauntlet to get everything done between baths and dinner and uh, bedtime routine. So we women sure know how to pack, pack everything in and juggle a lot. So I think each one of us deserves some type of award just for actually being on and being alive tonight. So maybe I just specifically do, but I want to introduce you tonight. I am so excited about introducing you to a company that's been impacting lives for almost 60 years now by helping people to get healthy and to live better lives called Shackley Corporation. And they are the number one natural nutrition company in the United States. And it's one of America's most trusted brands. And in the next few minutes, we're going to talk about why and how Shackley has been changing so many lives, particularly the lives of women for so many years. And I hope that you walk away this evening equipped with a little bit, uh, a few more tools in your tool belt with really some natural solutions to some of the toughest issues that most of us women have faced. And my goal is to really show you how you can build health to get to that place of being balanced. So we're going to really address some key serious um, issues that we women face tonight. So if you need pen and paper, grab it right now because we're going to be throwing a bunch of, of stuff out tonight. And I'm sure it's no surprise to you how different women are than men and from how we view ourselves. If you're dialing in on a phone, you can't see this picture, but it's a great depiction of how women see themselves versus how men see themselves. And not only are we different in how we view ourselves, we are also very different in the issues that we face. And because of that, we have to tackle it differently than men do. We have some very unique and very specific health-related issues. And I'm not sure what brought you to this call tonight. You know, maybe it's one of these things listed here. And when you look at where you're at in your health right now at this moment, I want you to really ask yourself where you'd like to be next month or where you'd like to be next year or even 10 years from now. Sometimes I know it's hard to think ahead and really think down the road. Maybe you're not really wired to um, think that far down the road, but just stop for a second and think about the track that you're on right now. Are you struggling with too many extra pounds? Do you have low energy? Are you stressed out all the time? Do you have digestive issues or IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome? Are you struggling with thyroid issues? Maybe you are on the spectrum of terrible PMS symptoms or horrible menopause symptoms. Maybe you're afraid of breast cancer or somebody you love has um, already struggled with that. Maybe you're pregnant. You're listening in tonight, you're pregnant, or you've just had a baby and you wanna know how you can really build your health my question is, wherever you identify yourself, think about if you stay on the same track, where you're going to be in 10 years. Is what you're doing right now going to get you where you want to be? If you kind of have that picture in your head of where you want to go, is what you're doing going to get you where you want to be? So I would have to say that something that we're doing in our country as a whole, it's not working. Just a few years ago, more than $3.5 billion a year was spent on birth control pills um, to really try to help PMS. PMS has been reported to affect 80% of all menstruating women. One in eight, that statistic is actually higher now, uh, develop breast cancer, and one in 33 actually die of breast cancer. So some of the stuff that we're talking tonight is serious stuff. I know that that's probably why you've logged in and you're listening and because you don't want that to be your story you don't want to have to go down that path or you've already experienced something that we've talked about already and you want to be free of it you want to be out of it and you want to do it naturally so i just have to tell you encouraging news after all that that it doesn't have to be this way this does not have to be your lot in life as a female and that's good news for all of us because i don't i don't want that i don't want to receive that now, there are a lot of reasons why people join Shackley, and we're going to cover some of those. There's really three main things that Shackley offers. So I'm not sure, again, if, if your health is the only reason that you've joined us. So I want to show you here. Sorry, I'm having a little technical difficulties. Um, you might be saying, you might be listening in saying, I really have some health issues going on, and I want to hear about how to use Shackley's revolutionary scientifically based products for some of those health needs. But maybe you're listening in and you already know what Shackley can do for you or you're curious to find out because you have other friends that are in the same boat that you are. 
you'd actually like to share some of those solutions with them, potentially get your own products paid for. Shackley offers the opportunity to do that. So you can either use our products, you can share them with others and earn a little extra cash on the side, get your products paid for, or you can even build your own international business. It's a spare time, part time, or full time type career, which so many other ladies have done over the last 60 years, which is exciting. So wherever you're at tonight, I just wanna put those on the table so that you know that Shackley offers all three of these options to you, but we want you to really see what fits best for you. What is, the, what is it that you want most right, ne right now in your life? So while you're thinking about that, I'd like to just share quickly how I got involved with Shackley. And I actually started as a user. So again, Shackley offers these three different um, paths, if you will. But growing up as a kid, most of the things that I consumed came from a box in a can. And it wasn't because my parents didn't try. They loved me desperately. We just didn't have a whole lot of um, income. And it just was kind of what I think most people did. There wasn't as much awareness even in those back then um, as there is now about just eating whole healthy foods and different things like that. So as a result, I had um, chronic bronchitis all through my growing up years. Um, I had different symptoms with PMS and other things. And I ended up struggling in high school, my high school years with an eating disorder for about four years and went from almost 120 pounds down to 80 something pounds. And because of that, you can imagine, I really threw my um, hormonal system off. I had a lot of different issues, digestively, hormonally, all that stuff. I went off to school to play Division One soccer and kind of got my act together, if you will, um, physically or mentally, I guess. But physically, I was still, I, I kind of traded one system for another. I stopped the starving myself and started obsessively working out and exercising. So all of these things, I tell you all that to say it, it added up to just a stress overload on my body. My body was going through a lot of different things. I went on um, to have... Uh, four children in six years and one of those children my number three um, passed away went to heaven unexpectedly of sudden infant death syndrome and after that after my fourth was born actually my son Asher after he was born I think my body had just been through so much over the years and I had I had deficiencies that I was not getting on top of that I ended up with fibromyalgia and just pain pain from head to toe um, I struggled to even sleep at night because my pillow hurt so bad. I had 10 to 20 migraines a month. Um, it, it was down to where my hair even hurt. I had just extreme pain at age 28 and would wake up crying every day with, with my husband, Nathan, saying, I, I really don't know if I'm going to see 30. I hurt so badly. And I am so thankful to say, I will fast forward and say some of the things that I'm going to show you tonight when I got a better understanding of how to build health and how to regain that balance in my body, I was able to overcome pain, overcome some of those early deficiencies. I have not had bronchitis um, in the last, who knows, five years, and I had struggled with it every single year since I was a kid. And my, my children are healthy and happy, and they have gone on the same path and journey with us. So. Um, because I had such incredible results and have loved this company so much, we have gone on to be, to share and to make an impact in other people's lives and to build an incredible business with Shackley as well. But I want to just let you know right from the start that it's a journey. You know, I love to say I haven't arrived, but I've left because the reality is none of us are there. I, I hate sometimes Facebook and Instagram because they give us these sneak peeks into people's lives where we think that's reality every moment of every day and we draw our assumptions and conclusions and comparison is one of the biggest things that will kill your journey, especially as a woman. We love to compare ourselves to other ladies and the reality is, is we're all on the journey. No matter what Facebook tells you, we're all on the journey. None of us are perfect. None of us have arrived and tonight I want to challenge you that it is sometimes just a minor course correction that can drastically change the destination. It can drastically change that final destination for you. So imagine an astronaut who's going to the moon. Think about if he is off when he leaves, when his shuttle takes off, if he is off by a small amount at the beginning of his journey and he never corrects it, he will completely miss his target, the moon, he'll miss it altogether. 
And they've done studies to show that if it's even a small millimeter off at the beginning and it's never course corrected, he completely misses the moon by miles. That small little course correction at the beginning could have drastically changed the final destination. So I hope tonight that you'll find a small minor course correction that you can make right now in your life. It doesn't have to be hard. It's going to be simple. And I'm going to show you it can be simple. Some of you listening, I know because I've talked to you, you feel like you're drowning. You feel like you can barely get your head above water. You're discouraged. You're depressed. You've tried everything else. You've tried medic medications. You've tried plans. You've tried everything. It hasn't worked. You're frustrated. And I can say that I'm with you. I get it. Living so many years of my life sick and in pain, I really thought sickness was my best friend. And I am so grateful that I learned some of these things that I get to share with you tonight to say that you can be set free. You don't have to stay stuck there and it doesn't have to just be your lot in life. So one of the minor course corrections could be your understanding of how to build health. Remember, we're talking about building health. So there's two ways that we primarily address health in the United States. And you're gonna tend to pick one over the other. Think about it like a path. You tend to, like me, I got stuck on this path and I, I was really off target. I was gonna miss the moon by miles until I course corrected later in life. In my 20s, I course corrected. So again, it doesn't mean you won't ever walk down these paths simultaneously, but it does mean when you're, if you understand how you build health, this is very important and pivotal to you course correcting a little bit. Understand that the medical model, it treats symptoms through drugs and surgery. You've got a symptom, you go to the doctor, he prescribes you something for it. He does not say, change this, change this, change this, do this health-wise, and you'll get these results and you don't need any medication. Again, I'm not saying there's not times for emergency and for medication. I'm not somebody that's advocating don't ever, ever, ever go to the doctor. There are obviously situations and doctors save people's lives, and we get that. But I'm talking about building health building health on a daily basis and living a life of health so that you can then use medicine for what it's there for, emergency or crisis. So let's talk about the prevention path. The prevention path is a model that really targets the root. It alleviates the root by building health. So it doesn't treat the root by the same medically. This is the difference here, guys. We are so accustomed to treat symptoms with medicine. What I'm going to share with you tonight is not treating symptoms with nutrition. We're not talking about that. We're talking about alleviating it by building health. I'm not going to be just kind of flipping the coin and saying, let's treat it through this supplement and that supplement. We're not going to do that. It is alleviating the root through you understanding how to build health in your body. And you can, do, you can build health in multitudes of different ways through sleep and stress uh, management, chiropractic care, healthy eating. We're going to focus primarily tonight on supplement, supplementation, and I'll show you why. Last thing I want to say, though, is if you, choose, if you don't choose to prevent things by taking action now to build your health, the default will be the medical path because you're forced into an emergency situation and you need a Band-Aid quick. That's what happens for most of us. Most of us do not set out in our life going, I really want to get breast cancer. But what happens? We wake up one day and we're like, oh my gosh, there it is. Why? It didn't just happen overnight. It was a journey that took us to that place because of oftentimes not taking some of these preventative measures earlier. Not always, but often. So hopefully that helps kind of understand the difference in these two paths that you can really journey on. So supplementation is what I'm going to hit tonight because there are several natural solutions of really how to prevent, um, prevent sickness and really to build health. I'm going to highlight supplementation for two main reasons. Number one is because of depleted nutrition. I, I'm sure you're not a stranger to a busy full schedule. A lot of us are moms listening or you have, even if you have grown kids, you're still a mom. It just looks different. Um, if you're a teenager, we have some teenagers, we have some college students listening in. We have different levels of stress at different seasons of our life. We all have it. Especially as females, we tend to juggle 5,442 balls at the same time. We just do. And so because of that, it depletes our nutrition in our body on the inside. Also, we don't have a plan. What comes to dinner, and we're like, what's for dinner again? And quick, let's grab the box, let's grab the can. So a lot of the food that we're eating, it's either coming from a box and a can, because there is no plan, 
And even when we are trying to choose to eat healthier, a lot of the food quality is not the same as what it used to be. I don't know if you know that you'd have to eat 25 apples to equal 50, uh, to equal one apple, I'm sorry, 50 years ago. So our nutrition has depleted um, because of soil and other things, other factors. The second reason we're gonna talk about supplementing to build health is it's simple. Addition is much easier than subtraction. What do I mean by that? It is easier to add something good in first, then take some of the bad things away. I have talked to so many women over the last decade. It's been 14 years that I've been doing this. I have talked to so many women that I talked to about this and the light bulbs go off for them and they're like, uh-oh, I gotta now go talk to my husband and he is gonna kill me if I take the Doritos out of the pantry. So here's what I'm telling you. He will more likely give over the Doritos and the other things if you begin to supplement his health and your health. You'll find that you're not craving the same things you used to crave. What's easier? Tomorrow morning, wake up and clean out your pantry, which I am an advocate for, but what is easier? What's that first step? It is so much easier to supplement and supply a quick shot of nutrition to your body and then in that process you start to let go of all the other stuff that didn't need to be there in the first place when it comes to even our food so let me tell you for a moment let's talk about shackley corporation and their credentials why in the world have i chosen shackley with some of the different health needs in my own life financial needs in my life why did i choose shackley first off because of their stable history shackley's got a 50 plus heritage it's almost 60 years now that they have been an industry leader in the natural nutrition space, in the green space, um, beauty. They, they have everything from beauty to weight, um, to home care, to nutrition, as well as um, home business. So they have been a leader in this industry for 60 years. There is no other company that can say that. It was founded by Dr. Forrest Shackley in 1956. And he actually, in 1914, created the very first vitamin, which he called Vitalized Minerals. You can see it down there in the corner. So a year later, it was shortened to the word vitamin. That is where we get it. It was not even in Webster's Dictionary until Dr. Shackley came up with it. So Vitalized Minerals became vitamin. Dr. Shackley was truly a pioneer ahead of his time. He is the one who pioneered this industry of understanding that God's put everything that we need to heal our bodies or repair our bodies, I should say. He's put it in nature. So if we can use that and put it in a powerful form, a potent form, it'll help us get there even faster at times because we'd have to eat a truckload of food to equal sometimes what we can put into supplement form. He also created a protein powder, the very first protein powder and the very first non-toxic cleaner. We trust Shackley because of their philosophy. Integrity is everything for us. Um, science is what we look at. Hype is what we don't look at. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of clever marketing, especially in our age of everything on social media and every, the world is at our fingertips through the World Wide Web. And there is, you can find something for everything. But hype is not what Shackley goes on. They have invested hundreds of millions of dollars in testing and research. You can see here, 83,000 tests are done a year to make sure the product is up to par and a high quality. There is nothing artificial, no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners in Shackley. So they have the philosophy of as close to nature as possible, as well as a solid infrastructure. As I mentioned, the research and development centers are premier and they've invested $350 million in clinical research over the past years. Now, this is very different, 100 published peer-reviewed um, clinical studies. Most companies that you will look at that even boast of raw or whole food or real do not even have one published study to prove that their product does what it says it does. So Shackley, um, has a hundred. It is very difficult. This is not in-house studies. This is somebody else who took an interest in Shackley and said, hey, we, as a third party, we want to see what you're really up to and we want to study and do a study on your stuff to make sure it's really as good as you say it is. So there's a hundred of these saying, yes, it actually is. So Shackley has a strong guarantee on everything that they create and it's called the Shackley difference and it's always safe, it always works and it's always green. So safety is a high factor without anything artificial, as close to nature as possible, non-GMO, all those things I just mentioned, the fact that it works means you're gonna get the same thing from bottle to bottle. And as a mom, as a woman, I wanna make sure that what I'm putting in my body, it works. I don't have time or money 
to just read things on the internet and hope and roll the dice and hope that they work. I need to see first off the longevity and the track record that Shackley has. That is why I chose it. Years ago when I was in college and my body was falling apart after my eating disorder phase, that's when I met my husband. And he asked me the question I just asked you. He said, is what you're doing working? And I had to stop and say, it's not. That Centrum vitamin I'm taking, it's obviously not, or I wouldn't be passing out in practice every single day. And I was really hard-headed, guys. I fought him tooth and nail like, I don't need it. I eat salad. I eat healthy. And he just said, how's it working for you? And I said, it's not. I pass out almost every day in practice. I'm doubled over in pain because of digestive issues. And I don't feel good. I'm tired of not having energy. Within three months of starting Shackley, my teammates noticed a difference in me and said, what are you on? You're like the Energizer Bunny. It works. And it's always green. Everything that Shackley produces, it's BPA-free packaging. Shackley is the first climate neutral certified company, which means they offset all of their carbon emissions and leave a net zero impact on the environment. So they walk their talk. So we have the highest quality standards in the industry, and it's a company that you can trust. So if that's not enough to kind of help you you know, decide for yourself, is Shackley a company I can trust to supplement with? Let me paint this picture for you just a little bit more um, just in layman's terms here. Think about a plastic lemon. Are all supplements the same? No, they are not. There's three different types, essentially. Think about eating a plastic lemon. You go to the store, you're going shopping, you say, you know what, that looks pretty good. I think I'll eat that real lemon, that real lemon juice. You eat it, is that gonna do good for your body? No, it's not. The synthetic type is like the lemon with no juice inside. It's gonna have harmful side effects. You're not gonna be able to digest it. It's gonna hurt you. There's other types of vitamins as well. And the semi-synthetic, it's like eating that plastic lemon or real lemon bottle with juice inside. If your body can get past that plastic coating, it maybe might see something sort of real in there, but likely it's still gonna have some issues. These are things that are at drug stores and vitamin shops and wholesale um, like big warehouses, as well as even in some of our whole food type um, supplement chains. Those type things, those, those type stores still carry these things because they lack the science, they lack the research to show that it's as close to nature as possible. So when you're out there wondering about what is it? Are they all the same? No, they're not. Go to the research first off and think about this little illustration with the lemon. All right, so let's talk about specifically some of the challenges that we face. And we're gonna tackle several things tonight, but most of them are of what women face fall under one of these three categories of weight, hormones, and energy. So we're gonna kind of break these down. And I am so excited because this is one of my favorite things in the world to actually talk about because I have seen so many women have their life changed. So before we look at these challenges, let's take a look at what's at the root of many women's issues and it's hormones, hormones that are imbalanced. These little guys can cause us to be happy one minute and pulling our hair out the next. And some of us struggle with not enough of this one, Others of us have too much of that one, and we feel like we're pulling our hair out because we can't figure it out. It changes from day to day. And we hear a lot about hormones, but what really is a hormone? I'm going to take some mystery out of it for you. It's not some nebulously floating thing that's going throughout your body. It's literally a chemical messenger that travels from one organ to the next, and it helps regulate bodily functions. So you can imagine why, if that chemical messenger is not properly fueled, it's not getting the message to the right organ at the right time. That's why some of us are really out of whack on the inside because our body is not regulated. It, the messages are not getting to where they need to be. What is a hormone made up of? It's made up of vitamins B, C, zinc, amino acids, which is just the building blocks of protein, and then some fatty acids. So here's the reality. It, we've got to feed the body back what we take away from it daily in order to give it the proper tools to repair and regulate itself. And the good news is that many of these challenges I'm going to show you can actually be relieved or completely eliminated. So you might find yourself somewhere on this cycle. I know some of you have logged in over the telephone. You can't see it, but this is the crazy, cranky, craving cycle. And it can start either with being depleted nutritionally or it can start out with being stressed. I know none of you are ever crazy. You're never cranky with your kids or a spouse or a friend. And I'm sure none of you have cravings, but I do. And so this cycle helped to, I did, I should say, and it really helped to depict 
what I was feeling and what was happening in my body. So you start out depleted or stressed. Let's just say for the sake of example, we start out stressed. Something's happened and you got stressed. Whether you pull your hair out with stress or you numb out and you hold it all inside, we all carry stress differently, but regardless, your body knows you're stressed. When you do that, you're de you deplete your vitamins, you deplete the nutrition inside of you, some very specific ones, and then you start to crave. Because you have basically left yourself unprotected, it's like being out in the rain and removing an umbrella. Now you're gonna get poured on. So you've just removed your umbrella of protection because you depleted yourself, so now you crave. That's one of the first things that happens. You start craving or irritable or different things like that. But cravings, this is where it comes from. So you go eat junk food. Well, junk food is another thing, sugar and fried foods, it depletes more vitamins in your body. Your body has to work overtime to try to make up for that. So when you deplete that, you feel stressed even more. You feel the effects of stress more, which causes more depletion, more craving. You reach for the junk food again. You continue to deplete yourself, and you, you cannot figure out why you can't get out of this crazy, cranky, craving cycle. And it's so simple to actually stop it, which I'm excited to show you. So this cycle kind of plays into several of the different things that we'll talk about as we go through this. So hormone imbalance can show up through PMS. So let's talk about this one first because I personally have had so much personal victory in this area. And you, I think you tend to accept something as normal until you try something different and it works. And for me, I accepted in sixth grade when I got my period. Some of you may have been later, some earlier. But... I accepted that this was just part of being a girl. I just figured that weight gain, um, acne, bloating, headaches, um, you know, fatigue, depression, irritability, what else am I missing? Insomnia, crying, uh, mood swings. Have I missed anything? I mean, there are so many symptoms that we put underneath this PMS thing. So I don't think I've left anybody off the list. We've probably all struggled with something on that. So what causes it? What causes PMS? PMS is simply this, in your body, it's not enough nutrients to fuel normal bodily cycles. PMS is, or your, I'm sorry, your menstrual cycle is not a surprise. It happens every month to every woman for thousands of years. So other ladies have sailed through this. PMS is something we've recently diagnosed as a syndrome because we've seen more prevalence of all these issues because there's not enough nutrients in our diet because we're living more stressed out, stressed out than ever to fuel normal bodily cycles. This was an aha for me, guys. The, the day that you experience PMS symptoms is the day that your body is waving the white flag saying, hey there, I am all out. So for example, some of you may experience PMS symptoms the week after you stop your last period. And so for the next three-ish weeks, you're dealing with all this stuff. Some of you may experience symptoms three days before your next period. The day you start experiencing symptoms and put, write them down, what are they? Do you get irritable? Do you feel like you're on, you, you all of a sudden go into a tank and you're depressed? Um, are you eating chocolate like it's going out of style? What is it? The day that you experience that symptom is the day your body's all out. Now, what is it all out of? It's out of vitamin B, C, zinc, protein, amino acids that's usable in a usable form and fatty acids because that's what makes up a hormone. If you have that in your body and you supply it, your body will be able to regulate itself. So I'm going to tell you some of the solutions in a minute. We're going to just kind of fly through some of the, the issues that we face and why we do. So let's talk about pregnancies. I know some of you listening um, are pregnant or you're kind of in that post stage or you're nursing your children and you're wondering how you can really build health to do that. I think it comes down to understanding that every cell of that baby comes or came from somewhere. Babies don't just appear. They come from somewhere and that somewhere is you or the nutrients you put in your body. Most pregnant ladies think about it. They're nauseous their first three months, so they're living off soda water and saltines. So they're probably not getting a lot of nutrition from their food. Some ladies do a better job at it, but it's tough. Um, that it, It's no joke to build a baby. I know what that feels like. So every cell comes from somewhere. And, you, and if you're not giving your body proper nutrition, it's going to take it from you, which in the post leaves you completely depleted. You may not see it the first after the first baby. You may not even see it after the second baby. You know what? I didn't even see it till after the fourth, but that's when it caught up to me. 
and I tanked. That's whenever I had fibromyalgia symptoms, chronic fatigue, was exhausted, and did not think I was going to make it to 30. Again, your, your symptoms may not be as extreme or what mine were, but I know it stemmed from, from um, being depleted. Now, I want to show you something interesting here. This is my doctor-recommended prenatal vitamins. Remember, not all supplements are the same. And a picture's worth a thousand words. I want you to see this because my doctor recommended this vitamin when I was pregnant with my oldest named Micaiah, and it ate a hole through a plastic cup. Maybe some of you have heard you can test your vitamins in water. If they don't dissolve in 15 minutes, they're passing through your body unused or they're sitting in your stomach doing nothing. So I tested my prenatal and it did not dissolve. I cut it in half to see if I could help it along, maybe get a little water inside, you know, thought it would just dissolve a little faster. And it didn't. So I dumped the water out, didn't even think about it, left the cup on the counter overnight. When it came back in the morning, there was a hole in the bottom of this plastic cup. There's actually two or three holes in it. You just can't fully see all of them. So I still have this cup right here in my office with me. So not all vitamins are the same. You can imagine what this synthetic vitamin might be doing to your stomach, your uterus, and everything else. So it's important to make sure you know what you're fueling with. I am so thankful that I have fueled um, during pregnancy and that I understood, even though I ended up somewhat depleted on the back end, I, took, I did um, supplement all throughout my pregnancies with Shackley and I have three beautiful, healthy Shackley babies and um, they have never actually been to a doctor a day in their life and they do get sick at times, but we have just chosen um, to, to do other things to get through it and they have been amazing. Menopause, let's talk about menopause really quick. So menopause occurs when the ovaries announce to the rest of the body that there is no longer going to be an egg of the month. They are tired and they just aren't going to produce anymore. So th this upsets other parts of the body and an all-out hormonal war occurs and it begins with a hot flash. That's where it starts. Hot flashes are the body's way of saying it is mad at the ovaries for quitting their job. So some other symptoms of menopause and pre-menopause might be dizziness, headaches, shortness of breath, depression, inability to concentrate, agitation, anxiety, even weight gain. So because the estrogen is decreasing, we want to really, if you're not in menopause yet and you're listening, we want to, I want to show you how to keep your ovaries operating as long as possible. Thus, you need to provide them proper nutrients, the vitamins, minerals, and protein. Those are the only things that can rebuild and replace cells in the body, and this includes ovarian cells. So this is exciting though, ladies, if you're premenopausal or you're full blown into menopause right now, or you're not, this is exciting to know that nature is never so unkind to take something away, i.e. your ovaries, the estrogen, without giving us something in replacement. What is the replacement here? The adrenal glands. The adrenal glands actually provide a temporary backup. They're like a temporary backup system that produces a hormone-like substance that helps get through this season. It helps the transition period among glands. So there's also the fat in your body also produces some estrogen to help your body adjust. So just remember, every drug has a toxic side effect. So try all their options before you go on a drug or like a hormone replacement therapy. So even things that are like natural, they're called natural bioidentical hormones or artificial ones, how a woman's levels fluctuate every day is so different. It, I mean, it could be something you ate to something that stressed you out could cause your hormone levels to be different. So when you're going to get tested, those hormone levels could be different from one day to the next, but that is what you're having the hormone replacement therapy created off of was that test for the day. So as opposed to going on something that is artificial, it's really artificially regulating your hormones, um, even something like estrogen supplements, even if they're natural or not, they have been linked to increase in breast and uterine cancer. What I'm going to show you in just a minute is not an estrogen supplement. It is not trying to um, supplement estrogen into your body because at this season, your body's shifting. So I want you to think about this for a second as well. Adrenal glands, if they're your backup, women that are 30s, 40s, um, whatever age you're starting to hit this, if you are really stressed, one of the, the indicators is adrenal fatigue. Now, do you see why if, if your backup system is being stressed to the max and you have a, adrenal fatigue and you're living in a constant state of stress, no wonder your body is not able to kick in and regulate like it's supposed to. 
no wonder you're having to run potentially with the option feeling like my only option is some type of hormone replacement therapy or medicine because the adrenals are stressed and they're not kicking in like they were supposed to. Let's talk quickly also about hyper and hypothyroidism. So you're going to follow the same plan for both hyper and hypothyroidism um, because it is not about treating disease. And if I say that a hundred times tonight, I hope you understand that it's not about treating disease. It is about building the health of your cells, specifically on this one, the health of the thyroid through feeding and rebuilding the health of the various hormone producing organs. So all these organs are interrelated. They're all connected, just like a computer. There's all these parts, but it is not, it's, so you think about it like this. It's not that the person, if you have hyper or hypothyroidism, either one, it's not that all of a sudden you got attacked by that disease. Now, therefore you must take a medicine to get rid of that disease. Rather, both of these, what it really is, is your body, you have to rebuild the health of the thyroid, whether it is underproducing or overproducing. And as it grows healthier and stronger, it will correct itself. So it's a little bit of a simplistic explanation, but both of them, no matter what end of the spectrum you're on, we're not taking the angle of treating either. If you will build health of the thyroid and reproduce and rebuild those cells at the cellular level, provided the vitamins, minerals, and protein it needs, it will right itself in time. Osteoporosis, and I think this is our last one before we dive into some of the solutions. What are some of the causes of osteoporosis? Decreased levels of estrogen. So ladies that are in menopause or going through menopause tend to see this more because of the decrease in estrogen. Um, and because of inadequate intake or absorption of calcium. Some of you may be taking calcium. We'll talk about that later. If it's not really absorbing. Lack of weight-bearing exercises. And lastly, another cause is soda. If you're a big soda drinker, I don't care if it's diet or not, sodas actually leach calcium. It pulls calcium from your bones in order to alkalize the acidic environment you just created. A so one can of soda is so acidic, it takes 30 cups of water to bring your body back into balance. And because you or I are not drinking that much water every day, I don't think any of us are drinking 30 cups of water, the body has to figure out a way, a different way, to get it back to that pH level it needs to be at, the right alkalinity. So leaching calcium out of your bones is the way that it does it. So if you're a big soda drinker, you may be setting yourself up for this later. And so again, if you're even a teenager listening or college student, don't think, well, I'm only in my, I'm only 15 or I'm only 20. It doesn't matter. It will begin to set in motion things like myself, things that I set in motion in my teens showed up for me near 30. That's whenever it really came out. So it's not just going to be something that you see today. It's something that sets you up later. So what are some of the keys to build health? One doctor said, an anonymous doctor said, health is the condition in which your body has everything that it needs, but disease is a condition in which it doesn't have enough of the things that it needs or too much of what it doesn't need, which is toxic to it. That is a very simple explanation of health. It's the condition where your body has what it needs. Disease is when it doesn't. It's very simple. We smack a million different labels on stuff, um, isms, disease, thyroidism, you know, all these things that we say but we're not treating the symptoms, we're building health is what Dr. Shackley said. He actually said that he wished that people would stop reading all the books on nutrition because almost all of them are talking about using nutrition like medicine to treat disease. And he says you need to forget about treating disease and focus on rebuilding health. If you begin to give the body all that it needs every day to build the health of the body, the body itself has been programmed by the creator to know what to do to correct and heal itself of the disease itself. So I'm going to show you kind of what that foundation looks like. So you would not build a house on a cracked foundation, nor do you want to build your health on something that's not solid and stable. So to have your body work properly, you need a foundation of vitamins, minerals, and protein. It's the key components to a healthy cell. The Lean and Healthy Kit is the place to start. It includes protein for the month that you can see there. And it includes something called Vitalizer. Vitalizer is our most comprehensive natural supplement on the market today. It comes in a handy, convenient strip. You can take it anywhere. So if you are on the go, busy mom, or you don't leave the house, but you feel like you never get to eat because by the time you feed the kids and start cleaning up their crumbs, you forget to eat. This is the best way to get something in you early, um, early in the day. So 
I, it has something called a smart delivery system on it. And in this system, it means it gets it to the right place at the right time. You can see by the picture there, you don't need all your supplements in your stomach. You need them to go to the right place at the right time. I want to back up here and just mention quickly what is in this strip. Our Shackley Vital E, the green vitamin, is our multivitamin. That's the one that Dr. Shackley pioneered and created. Vitamin B plus C complex, it has a combo in here. Two Corrado E omega complexes, these things help with acne and hormones. E is a big one for hormones. Omega is huge for inflammation. It's a fatty acid you need for your cells, as well as a probiotic is our OptiFlor. And you'll notice it didn't dissolve in the stomach. It dissolved all the way down lower where you need it. Probiotics help with many things that we'll see again in, in just a moment. So uh, one more time here, it's got this smart delivery. It gets to the right place at the right time so that your body actually gets the full benefit of it. So the Lean and Healthy Kit is the foundational starting block. And you can see how much you'd have to eat. You'd have to eat all this to get all the variety and the equal amounts of nutrients that you need that Shackley has packed into this one little strip. And this, this, kit, this little um, strip alone has nine different patents on it. There is nothing else like this on the market with the, the type of delivery system um, and 80 different bio-optimized nutrients, which means they get into your body. Your body can absorb them. So I don't have time to really go through everything that's um, all the different nutrients. I just want to highlight a few of them and why they're different. Why do you not want to run down the road to the vitamin shop or to um, the local Walmart or somewhere and just grab something off the shelf? Why do you not want to do that? Let me show you what the difference is. So what, what does protein do? Protein helps your muscle, your skin, your hormones. You just saw it is at the building block of your hormones. So ladies, if you are struggling hormonally, protein is huge for that. But Shackley protein specifically, um, the Shackley difference is it's got all 23 amino acids. Um, a lot of proteins don't. They only isolate a couple out of there, so your body is not getting the full benefit of a complete protein. It's a vegetable source of protein, so your body can utilize it and digest it quickly. It's gluten-free. There's nothing artificial. It's non-GMO protein. It's low glycemic, so um, it's low glycemic so that people can... I'm sorry, so that diabetics can use it as well. We've had many people um, completely get off diabetic medication as well. Now, soy protein, here's the thing. There's a couple different types that Shackley has, but I want to talk about soy for a second. Soy is actually an anti-estrogen. There is no clinical data. There is a lot of misopinion. There's a lot of blog stuff out there, but there is actually no clinical data to support these misopinions that soy raises estrogen levels. It's just a widely circulated myth. Soy actually has phytoestrogens that bind to receptor sites on your hormones. So your hormones, think about your hand. If you hold your hand up right now in front of you and think about your fingers being receptor sites of a hormone cell. What soy protein does is it actually takes up residence on those receptor sites, the phytoestrogens do, and it blocks maybe estrogen. Or it blocks, for instance, let's take a breast cancer, somebody with breast cancer. Um, one of the cells um, is the HR2 cell. It, it, that cell, that dangerous cell, it, the concern is, is that it will take up residence on your hormone cells, on your estrogen cells. So you don't want it to do that. Soy protein actually has been proven in clinical studies to block it from doing that. So some of the misconceptions and the myths out there about, oh, if you have breast cancer, you definitely don't want to use it or don't use soy protein because it'll cause breast cancer. It is a complete misnomer. And there is, um, but on the other hand, there are clinical studies that back the, these, um, that show that these anti-soy claims are false. There have been two really big published studies of breast cancer survivors. One that showed that the highest survivors were those who had consumed soy throughout the process of dealing with breast cancer. And a second study actually followed the other group, showed the highest death rates of breast cancer patients for those who had consumed no soy protein. Now the type of soy is important. The type of soy that you use, and honestly, after looking high and low, I would trust no other company than Shackley Soy Protein, knowing the identity preservation process that is a patented process that they use to ensure that their soy is safe. And Dr. Shackley um, chose soy protein 60 years ago. He could have picked any protein source to create the very first protein powder, but he picked soy because it is a superfood, because it contains the amino acids, and he knew what it did for the body. 
So, again, Shackley's the only company with a 20-year long-term study of, Sha of, of Shackley users, and none of them have ever gotten breast cancer from using it. I can guarantee you my husband has yet to grow man boobs. He's on his 16th year of, of consuming soy protein every day of his life, a, a soy protein shake. Same with my son. Um, so there's a lot of really silly misconceptions. Maybe you've heard some, maybe you haven't. But I just wanted to address that qu quickly and say, I'm 14 years in to consuming it almost every single day, and I am healthier, stronger, and fitter than I've ever been. So um, that'll tell you a little bit of why Shackley is different. Again, I would not recommend just picking up any brand. Shackley's has the science to prove that it's different and that it works. What about B-complex? You heard me say several times that vitamins B, C, zinc, amino acids, or which is protein, the building blocks of protein, as well as fatty acids, they're all part of your hormones. What does B do? Well, it keeps estrogen balanced. It helps reduce PMS and menopause symptoms, adrenal fatigue, stress, and depression. It's kind of like that umbrella I talked about. It helps protect you from stress. So it gets burned up, though, really quickly under stress. So here's the catch. Why is Shackley different? Why, again, do you not want to run down to the local supermarket and grab a B vitamin? It is important to have all eight B vitamins in the right ratio, and Shackley knows that ratio, and they've put them in that ratio. You'll see people that isolate B12s and B6s, and you will cause imbalance in your body if you take that for a period of time. Um, also, Shackley is different because they have actually coated their B vitamin, that yellow one that you saw, it is coated in the hard-to-get B vitamin called folic acid, which is super important when you're pregnant. But most people that create B vitamins, your body can never even access the folic acid, so you're not even getting it. It says it on the bottle, but your body is not absorbing it or getting it, and Shackley's is different. What about sustained-release vitamin C? Again, I just wanted to highlight a few of the vitamins in this strip so you understand why Shackley is so different, why we believe in it, and why it works. Vitamin C helps relieve depression and irritability, anxiety, sickness, heart disease, all those things as well, dealing with our hormones. But it's used up quickly like B is under stress reactions. So again, it's kind of like removing the umbrella leaves you unprotected. But why is Shackley different? This is so exciting. I love this. Shackley has put so much science into their vitamin C which was in that strip, it's the same as eating one and a half oranges every hour for six hours. They made it sustained release because your body cannot absorb the amount of C that you need all at once. So what tends to happen is if you run down to the local supermarket and buy a vitamin C that boasts of however many milligrams of C, you're going to pay for really expensive PP because you're not going to absorb it. It's going to go straight through you. And I'm just being honest here. So Shackley has created a sustained release um, on the C so that it, it's kind of like a drip feed. It lets it come out slowly so your body absorbs it all. Plus, that keeps your hormones and your immunity and your stress level, all of that protected over those six hours instead of just giving you a big shot in your arm and then you're going to crash later. So that's, again, why Shackley is different. The probiotic, why is this so different and why is this important for us women? It helps with digestion, gut issues, acne, craving, bloating. There is a lot of ladies I've spoken to, and this is not one of the specific issues we address tonight, that have irritable bowel syndrome or digestion issues or candida um, or the signs of candida, maybe um, acne all over your face or you're craving sugar and sweets all the time. Maybe you're bloated. I've, I, I talked to somebody recently that said she feels like she's seven months pregnant all the time. Um, so Shackley's probiotic will help with that. The difference, though, a probiotic delivers live bacteria. It's got to be delivered to the lower intestines. And Shackley has a triple patent coating. Um, it has a patented triple encapsulation here where it goes through the stomach acid and it goes through the other part of your intestines to where it gets all the way down to the lower intestines before it delivers it. Again, there is no other company out there that has created a probiotic like this that has this kind of um, process on it. It's different to make sure that you get it. So where do you start? Where do you start if you're in the flow? So you're in that season of life where you are menstruating and you are childbearing age and you have not yet hit menopause. Where do you start? The most foundational place to start is vitalizer and protein because it provides those basic building blocks you need, the vitamins, minerals, protein, and fatty acids that you need. So another thing that I would suggest adding if this is where you're at, is GLA, which is gamma linolenic acid. And all it is is an essential fatty acid that you need but are probably not producing enough of due to stress and diet. 
What GLA does for you is it aids in maintaining normal, um, just a normal sense of well-being, and it helps your body regulate hormones. So again, we're not treating hormones. We're providing our body what it needs to build the health so that the, your body can regulate itself. GLA helps do that. It's an essential fatty acid that you desperately need to really allow your body to regulate itself. So what you get to say goodbye to if you start here is PMS symptoms, acne, cramps, craving, mood swings, bloating, irritability, fatigue, and so much more. You will feel amazing. One of my friends, her name is Liz, we went to high school together. We played basketball together and soccer, and she, she was a couple grades behind me, but I noticed she had to miss practice at times. But later in life, in our 20s, she called me, and I never knew this. I did not know that for all those years, Liz had struggled with horrible, horrible migraines. Not like any other migraines I have ever heard. Liz was on four um, prescription medications. She would often have to go get shots in her head. Um, she was horribly sick. Um, her husband said when he would look at her, it was like she was not even there because the medicines had so almost robbed her of her, and she wasn't present. She started the simple plan and was able to get off all four prescription migraine drugs after just a couple months. And she has not had migraines and it's been years and maybe once in a blue moon she's had one and she is so thrilled and so excited to have been able to find the link between hormones and, and um, her health. So I wanna challenge you, if you have a teenager, again, I wanna go back to this, I wanna challenge you, if you have a teenager, don't think, well, we'll just wait until they're older. If somebody had just told Liz there was a link between the fact that she had just started her period, nobody ever caught it. Nobody caught the fact that her hormones were not getting, her body was not getting what she needed. Her body was waving the white flag saying, I'm all out. I can't do this every month. You're not giving me anything to work with here. So it could have stopped a lot of years of pain. Where to stop? Where to start if you're out of the flow? If you're out of the flow, you're in pre-menopause or menopause stage of life, Start with vitalizer and protein, same foundation. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here. We want vitamins, minerals, and protein in your body. And add menopause balance complex. This is an incredible starting place for you if you are, in, if you are out of the flow here. And the menopause balance complex, it uses phytoestrogens. It's just a compound that's found in plant. And, um, and plants and what it does is it helps to ease mood swings, sleeplessness, you get to say goodbye to exhaustion and depression and those um, hot flashes. And I know some of you are saying, amen, hallelujah. There is something that is natural that can help your body regulate itself. Now, here's the thing. Some of you that are gonna try this, you're gonna get on it. And if you do not see results over the first night, stick with it. I, I guarantee you, stick with it. Shackley has a money back guarantee. If you do not see results, you can get your money back. But here's the thing you have to remember. It took you years to get out of balance. It's going to take you more than one night, most likely, to get in balance. So stick with it. Provide your body the vitamins, minerals, protein, the fatty acids that it needs, and it will get in balance. If you're also in the season of life and you want to prevent um, osteoporosis, or you're already struggling with that. Shackley has a product called Osteomatrix, which is a calcium, um, magnesium with D and K um, type supplement. To, and it is, it is more, um, has a higher absorption rate than any other calcium out there. Calcium is one of the hardest supplements for manufacturers to make. It's too much to go in tonight, but most people's, you are not absorbing your calcium. You can test it tonight in water. Put your, put your calcium supplement, if you have one, put it in water and watch what it does. When I tested my prenatal calcium, it sat for 24 hours, then 36 hours, then 48 hours, nothing. Not a speck dissolved off of it. It's supposed to be a pile of dust at the bottom of the cup with no food coloring, no nothing floating around, no yucky stuff coming out. Um, Shackley's will dissolve within five minutes so that your body gets it. So where to start at minimum? At minimum, ladies, every one of you listening, if you're like, okay, I'm not sure about a pack or I'm not sure about that yet, okay, where to start at minimum? Pick a vitamin. Pick a foundational vitamin to start with. You can either choose your Vitalizer pack or pick just the multivitamin that we have called Vitaly, and you need that foundation. If you don't like to swallow, we have powder, we have liquid, and we have chewables. So we've covered it all. Shackley's covered all of those ranges for you and for all ages. Then pick a protein. You've seen the Shackley 180 protein. There's also an energizing soy protein as well. You can look at that for yourself and pick which one is right for you. If you're going to go with that bottom track with just the multivitamin, I highly recommend adding a B-complex. It's very, very important um, 
for adding in that nutritional B vitamins along with the multivitamin. And if you're struggling with your hormones, this is, if, if this is for you, if kind of fill in the blank, if you are completely out of balance, you're already on some type of hormone replacement therapy, you've had multiple children or one child, and you feel like you just never quite got back to yourself. Something's not right. And you've told your husband that, or you just feel completely out of whack. The three, two, one hormone balancing plan is a great place to start. What does that look like? It looks like starting with the foundational kit. So you start there, and then what you do is you have three GLA. Doesn't matter where you're at. This, this plan does not matter which spectrum, again, because remember, we're not treating menopause, and we're not treating PMS. We're providing nutrition so your body can regulate itself. And if your hormones are really out of whack, like mine were, I did this hormone balancing plan after my fourth was born because of trauma and stress and loss and different things that threw me way out of whack. I needed to get regulated. So three GLA, two menopause balance complex, and then one vitamin E. Vitamin E is important. Um, in 1949, vitamin E was actually predicted to become the preferred menopause or hormone therapy because estrogen therapy at that point in 1949 was already being shown that it was carcinogenic, that people that were going that route were getting cancer. So this is the replacement for that. So three GLA, two menopause balance complex, and one vitamin E, and do this full plan two times a day for three to six months. Why three to six months? Because I don't know your body. I don't know what you've been through. Do it till you feel better. Do it till you feel a shift. And I'm telling you, you will not regret it. I've done this once, and I'm actually on my second round because things have happened in life now. That's been seven years almost since my son was born, my last. And um, my body's shifting. I can feel it. So I am currently doing the three, two, one hormone balancing plan again. So if that is where that, if that sounds right for you, that is a great place to start. If you need an energy boost greater than what vitalizer and protein and that foundation gives you, um, or you're just looking for something to swap out, make the swap. Um, swap energy drinks and coffee for Shackley 180 energy tea. There's green tea or pomegranate flavors or Shackley energy chews. These are loaded with B vitamins and green tea extract and it's healthy, safe, and it actually boosts your metabolism, ladies. So if you're looking to shed a few pounds, the energy tea, it's great for that. People ask me all the time, coffee, is it bad for me? Just a quick note here. It's not, but it's kind of like sodas. It does, it does make your body acidic. So it is, it is, and it isn't. Um, what it does is it causes your body to swing again, that pH scale from the perfect um, level that it's at, it goes into acidic and you'd have to drink four to eight cups to offset one cup of coffee, cups of water to get your body back to the alkalinity that needs to be. This is what you need to remember. Disease and weight gain thrive in acidic environments. So if you're struggling to, to lose weight and every day you have a cup or two of coffee, you're not, it's not helping you. If you're struggling with your hormones and every day that's what you grab to get yourself through the day, consider making this energy swap. First off, consider getting on the foundational plan because it will supply your body energy that it needs. But here's some little things that you can just put in your purse and have on the go instead of grabbing it. And then if you are a coffee connoisseur, you love the smell, you love the taste, every now and then have a cup. But just remember, you might need to drink four cups of water to get your body back into balance. So we're actually going to talk about this next week. We're going to have part two, and we're going to talk about how to lose the right kind of weight. But some of you listening may be saying, you know what? I'm not really out of whack hormonally, and these are not some of my things, or I am, but my main concern right now is losing some, some weight, 10 to 30, 60, however many pounds you feel like you need to lose. Shackley has a solution, 90 days to lose the weight, 90 days to learn how to keep it off. You can um, get with the person that invited you, check it out on their website. You don't have to wait till next week when we talk about it. Same time, same place. We're going to talk about how to lose the right kind of weight again in part two of this. But get with the person. If this is where you want to begin, get started right away and, and get with them. You can see the plan online. God designed your body to heal and repair itself if it's given the right fuel. And it's kind of like this. You have a car probably right now sitting in your garage or the driveway, and that car has parts. If you did not put fuel in the tank, that car would not go, no matter how great the parts are on the inside. It's not going to go anywhere. So if you don't give it the right fuel, it's not going to fix, it's not going to repair, it's not going to be able to um, go anywhere for you. But it's never too late to start. Some of you, again, as I said earlier, may feel like it's too late 
um, you've, you've done too much damage and you're discouraged, but it's never too late to start. And I want to close with this lady's story. Her name is Eula Weaver, and she's an awesome example. At age 65, she had heart disease. She was diagnosed with that. At 75, she had a heart attack. And at 81, she actually had congestive heart failure. So this woman could barely walk three blocks. She'd have to get carried home. She wore gloves in the winter because she had poor circulation. The doctor finally told her, Eula, you've got two ways you can go. You can either go home and let somebody feed you with a spoon. You can get in bed and let somebody just feed you. Or you can go home, change your diet, supplement, and start walking. And guess what she did? She changed what she was eating, um, mainly fried fatty foods, sugary foods. She changed to fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains. Um, she began to supplement and she began to exercise. Five years later, at age 86, she entered the National Senior Olympics. She won 10 gold medals in the 800 meter and the 1500 meter. That's a half mile and almost a mile run, and she won 10 gold medals. So if you are in poor health now, whatever your age, just remember Eula, it is never too late to start. So you got to remember at 81, her heart failed, but when she supplied her body what it needed, it, your cells are always repairing. They're always reproducing. So it never stops. It never stops. So if you will put the right fuel in, it will repair even faster. Maybe you see all that Shackley offers and you wanna go beyond just using our products. So I talked about some ways that you can get started. You can get started as a member. You can save 15% on our products as a member. You get access to your own member center, but maybe you wanna go beyond that. You really wanna make a difference in other ladies' lives or, or guys' lives. And you, you wanna make a difference in families. And when you share with them, you can make a huge impact, just like myself and here's some other members of our team who have been doing that. And I want to show you what that looks like. If that's you, you've been listening and you're going, okay, I want to use the products, but I also know some people that could really benefit from this, that, have, that needed to hear this tonight. And it can make such a difference in them. So where do you start if you want to not only use our products, but maybe share or build with Shackley? If you want to share and you're really ready to explore both a healthier life and better life, you can get a pack that includes a lot of the stuff we talked, that foundational stuff we talked about in, in addition to some extra um, of Shackley's other lines and the ability to earn money and make your products, um, the cost of your products back and more. And if you're ready to build with Shackley, like myself and my husband were when we said, man, we want to make an impact. We really want to make a difference. We're ready to start changing our health and our own personal finances. I know a lot of ladies um, that desire to contribute to their family's finances and you want to start transforming your family's finances. Maybe you want to offset your mortgage payment or your kid's school bill or even just a car payment. There is a way to do that. The 599 Gold Plus Pack gives you a ton of Shackley, 18 of Shackley's best products that you're going to get in here, and a lot of the ones that we talked about tonight, this foundational nutrition that you get started with. And if that's where you want to start, either of those places, again, please get with the person that invited you. They can explain that in more detail. But wherever you see yourself getting started, whether that's using, sharing, or building, building, I really want to welcome you. I want to be the first to welcome you to our Shackley family because that's what it is. It's a family. We go on the journey together, and I really look forward to hearing your story as you do some minor or major course corrections on your journey towards a healthier and a better life. So don't forget that. It doesn't take massive things. Start something right now. Pick one of those things wherever you see yourself starting. Pick something. Make that minor course correction. Remember that it's easier to start adding than subtracting. Start that right away. You will see a change in your life this month. And talk to the person that invited you to this call so that they can help you get started where it's right for you. If I invited you, you can visit my website there. But I know there's a lot of people on here that I didn't invite. So please talk to the person that invited you. Visit their website. Look at the various starting options. Um, they or myself will connect with you soon. And join us next week for part two if you're interested in losing weight the right way or you want to see how to do a reset as the kids are getting back in school. It's going to be exciting next week as well. So here's to your future, and let's decide to make it a healthy one. God bless you, ladies, and I hope you have a great night and look forward to seeing you next week.